Hey my Blaze babes, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Cory Blaze and I'm back with another video. And today I have a little clothing hack DIY baddie on a budget video. Um, I've been seeing these shirts go all around Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and people are selling these and I'm like, Y'all buying these when you can make these at home for under $5. What the heck? What the heck? So, yeah. Let me just tell y'all. Y'all only gonna need three things for this video. One, a fitted tank top. Two, safety pins. And three, scissors. Now, you may have safety pins already at home. And you already, you should have scissors at your house. If you don't got scissors at your house, I don't know what's wrong with you. But you should have scissors at your house. Um, But if not, you can go like, to Walmart like me and get you a little tank top. I got this from the children's section. And I just got it extra large and guess what it was only two dollars and two dollars and 98 cents so you can see it right here i think it's still got the sticker can you see the sticker 2.98 and i got a 200 pack of safety pins from walmart for a dollar 97 and I chose the small size, but you could choose the large ones, medium, whatever you want to do, whatever style you're going after. It's completely up to you. Again, I only chose the small ones because like, it was cheap and I'm going to try to spend $5 on some safety pins, you know. So I just chose the small ones because it was $1.97. That was that. So let's get on right into it. I've been rambling on for this long and I know y'all like, girl. Let me just go ahead and get to the point. Okay, guys, so the first step that you want to do is put on your shirt, obviously. And when you put it on, make sure it's not scrunched up like this. Make sure you pull it all the way down, like literally, to where it's no wrinkles and it is full length. So then once you have your shirt all the way down, you can kind of cut. You can see where you want or let's say you can see how short you want your shirt to be. Um, I wanted to show like a little, you know, under boob. I want it to be a little sexy. So I am going to cut it kind of high. But it's really up to you what you want to do. But once you figure out where you want to cut it at, make a tiny snip in it. And that's going to be your line that you're going to follow um, for cutting the rest of the shirt. So for me, let's see. I think I'm going to cut right let's see maybe right here and i'm just going to make a little snip in it i know that that's going to be the line that i follow when i cut the rest of my shirt so now let's go into step two guys for step two you're just going to cut straight across from that little snip that you made um a straight line and you want to cut the whole shirt so not just the front you want to cut the back too So now that I have my shirt cut straight across, the next step that I'm going to do is cut out the sides. So I'm just going to cut the sides in triangles. So I'm going to flip my shirt on the side of it like that. And make sure the line, it's a line on wife beaters, right? where your underarm is and I'm just going to put that in the center and make sure that I'm cutting um, an even triangle. And I'm only doing this with this part. I'm not touching the back end of it. So I'm going to cut me out a little triangle. So I have my one triangle cut. I'm going to sit this to the side and do the same exact thing for the other side. So I'm going to make sure that line where my underarm usually is, is in the middle. And I'm going to kind of, if I flip it up, I can see where my other triangle was. So I'm going to kind of use that to cut this triangle. So I see that I started like right around here. 
And it's not going to be perfect, but that is okay. And so I have my two triangles cut out and I have a botched wife beater. And so I'm just going to take it towards the front. Next step would be to get your bobby pins. Pour a few out. I didn't do a specific amount. I'm just pouring some out on the ground or whatever. Whew, let me sit down for this, y'all. It's uncomfortable sitting on my knees like that. All right, so then you're gonna take your shirt, flip it back to the first side it was originally on, take your first triangle, and you're just literally gonna go around the perimeter and safety pin it, connecting it back to your wife beater. And I'll show you guys. So you wanna take this, take a safety pin, open it, obviously start at the one of the corners, at the very, very end of the corner. Be careful not to stab yourself. So it should look like this. And you're just gonna take that and connect it to the corner of the shirt and hook it on like that. And so you're just gonna do that all around. You can put as many as you like or as many as you don't want, but you're just gonna do that all the way through until both sides are connected and you're done. And I think, I like this, but I think I'm going to add a little something around the neckline just to um, just be a little bit creative. I think I'm going to cut it a little bit down the neckline and also just to add a little edgier feel to it. But yeah, after that, you're pretty much done to do whatever you want with it. It's super simple. It's super easy. And I'm also going to try it on for you guys just so you can see the finished product. So guys, here is the finished product. It's like a little cute, edgy, sexy shirt and it's showing like a little under boob or you can pull it down. And I personally like it up a little bit, you know, a little. And I will pair it with like a little skirt. I don't know, do you guys like this outfit? Are you here for this outfit? Cause I like it. It's a little skirt. If you want to make a statement, you could do like some pants. I have some other pants that I think will look really, really cute with this, but I literally love this shirt. You guys can see the back and the sides. So yeah, like this little look with this. It's a real like party look. You know, if you were going out somewhere on a Friday night, just want to be a little promiscuous. But yeah, this shirt is super, super easy to make and you can kind of freestyle with it. Um, I do like the little slit I added. I feel like it gives a little more personality to it. And like I said, this shirt was only, what, $2.98? I forgot what it said on the sticker and I paid $1.97 for the safety pants. And I literally have a thousand more safety pants left. So thanks for watching my video, guys. And if you want more videos like this, comment down below and tell me how your shirts turned out. Thanks. Make sure you subscribe. Bye.